got a fun video for you today. We are going to take a look at pattern chaining. So I currently have the Kit Collider preset pulled up. You can see here at Kit Collider, if you haven't already gotten the free Gate Nuevo preset pack, this is one of the presets in that package. Now I did a couple of things. I made some modifications. When you first open it up, uh, it will be playing and you'll see that there's a bunch of buttons enabled down here. And now I've cleared all that out because we're going to redo that. As I covered in the video on patterns, when a pattern is playing, we've got a thing going on here. We can click on one of these, it will quantize, it'll queue it up for change, and then after the amount of elapsed time has elapsed, it will change it for us. If we wanted to keep this going, we'd have to keep clicking on different things. Is there a way to create a sequence of patterns and to let Gate Nuevo change the patterns for us? The answer is yes. That's exactly what pattern chaining is. By default, when you first add Gate Nuevo, pattern chaining is gonna be off. And you can see down here, there's these three buttons, chain, on, plus, and minus. So to get started with pattern chain, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to turn it on. So you can click that. If this green button is illuminated, then pattern chaining is enabled. You notice that as soon as we did that, the LCD changed. When you first go to the info tab, the thing that you're probably going to see is this one, which is this is looking at beat counting. If you ever want to get back to this pattern view, this pattern chain view, you can use these buttons. There's only two things here. So you can use this button and the one that says pattern chain, this will tell you the sequence of patterns. Now the square brackets here are showing what the current pattern is. And then you can see these arrows will show you the next two patterns that are going to play after that. The number here represents the position of the pattern. So you can see right here, as I have my mouse over this first one that's white, it says view pattern one, put my mouse over the second, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then of course nine through 16 are down here. By default, when we first turn this on, uh, there won't be anything here. Now if you're playing with the Kit Collider preset, it will remember that pattern chain so it will be there. I'll talk about clearing that out in a second. But if we wanted to tell Gate Nuevo to play the first pattern and then play the second pattern. Well, it already knows about the first one. So I'm gonna hit this plus, it's flashing because we're now in add mode here. And I'm gonna click on the second pattern. All right, and I'm gonna turn that off. So what we've done here, you can see we've created a chain where it's gonna play the first one and then it's gonna play the second one. And then we'll talk about what it does after that. But if you watch, it'll play the first and the second one again. So see, now we're on the second one. You can see it's telling us what's coming up. Now we're back to the first one. Now it's just gonna keep doing this over and over. You notice that as soon as I hit play, we get the, the ellipsis, the dot, 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 which is showing us that it's gonna basically continue on forever. If we wanted to add additional steps, we could. So I'm gonna go back here to add, and I'm gonna say, let's do pattern three, and then we'll do pattern four. Okay, and we'll do the same thing again. So you can see here now we see all of them and we're currently on pattern two in the square brackets. So now we're on pattern three in the square brackets. All right, so here we are now back again at one. Let's say that we, we like that sequence, but, but maybe we don't wanna have the fourth one or the second one in there. That's what this other button here is for, which is minus will flash. And just like with add, we can click on one that we want to remove. Now you notice here that it still says four. This pattern chain view is showing you, this last one to the left of the square brackets is showing you what has played. But you can watch here as we go, that four will go away We'll go one, two, three, and then it'll go back to one. You can see here that it already has identified ones coming up. All right, so that's the basic idea of pattern chain in a nutshell. You notice here that down below the minus it says shift. If you ever have a chain and you just wanna clear it out, you can hold shift and click on the minus button and it will clear all of it out. So we've got no chain and we can start over and do something fresh. There's a couple of other interesting features when it comes to pattern chaining. 
One is that you can click on a pattern more than once. So for example, we could go one, two, three, two, and then let it repeat. We could also click the second pattern twice and it will play that pattern twice. So let me show you, so I'm gonna go to add. We've already got one selected. I'm gonna click two and I'm gonna click two again, and then I'm gonna click three. And so now what we've done is we've created a sequence that's one, two, two, three, and then it will repeat. So you can see here, one, two, two, three. So that's also possible as well. Something I haven't mentioned up to this point is, you notice it's been looping. So we have this pattern here that was one, two, two, three. And as soon as it gets to three, then it goes back around to one. Now that, be that behavior is actually configurable. So we go down here to config. We can go over to this setting here called chain end. You can see there's a few values here. So we've been listening to repeat, which is as soon as it gets to the last one, it goes back to the start and it plays the entire chain all over again. Loop last, what loop last will do, let's actually give this a little bit of a listen. So we're gonna go one, I'm gonna remove one of those twos. And you can see here it's showing us what it's gonna do. So you can see here what happened with loop last is we went one, two, three, and then we're just gonna keep looping this last pattern. So it's gonna go three, 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 pretty much forever. There's also loop first, which as you probably can guess, will do the same thing. It'll go one, two, three, and then it'll go back and just do one, 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 one forever and repeat. So those are your three options. Repeat's probably the most useful, but you might find some creative uses for the other one as well. Now, a couple of more things here. Um, pattern chaining, if we have this pattern and uh, we decide, well, we wanna turn it off for a little bit and we wanna work on something, when you come back and you turn it on, it will have remembered that chain. It'll do a reset for you there as we saw it jump over. Which is the last thing that I wanted to point out to you is reset will actually take you back to the start of the pattern. So I'm gonna hit reset here. You can see that we jump back to the beginning of the pattern. So if you happen to be using this with uh, some kind of external sequencer or DAW, or you're just clicking reset because you wanna restart, reset will cause the pattern to go back to the very first pattern in that chain.